Lou Martinez. Good morning, Lou. Good morning, Joey. How are you doing today, sir? Good, good man. Thank you so very much uh, for joining us here this morning. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the election is taking place tomorrow. That's correct. And we are here to provide uh, awareness to our listeners and viewers here of Kings County. And uh, about this election, first off, I want to make it clear. Where can we go vote? Are there, there's two well, locations, there's two right? Different district, yeah. uh, two different uh, precincts that they're going to have in District D. And, but you could also go anytime to the registrar voters and cast your vote there. So, so there are uh, two different areas to go to, but then you can go where again? Uh, the last the registrar voters. Gotcha. Okay. So uh, this is an election happening tomorrow for Hanford City Council District D. That's correct, yes. You and I talked a little bit off the air. Uh, you know, obviously we know the recall part of it is happening, but we want to get to the important issues, right? That's correct, yes, sir. And tell me what those important issues are, Lou. I believe the important issues are for the community, not only just District D, but the entire community, to have a voice and an input into what goes on in our community, our city. And I believe that's been lacking for a while. And uh, we, we haven't had a, a representative in our district who is concerned about issues within the district, more concerned about what he's doing for himself. And we need somebody in there who will speak for the community and reach out to the community for input to give the council direction as to what we want for our city. Now, when you first uh, decided to uh, become a candidate, uh, because you had uh, been a, a council member in the past, right? Yes, sir, I have. So you've definitely uh, been involved with the community for a very long time. And yes. you told yourself, you, you, what got you motivated? What what'd you tell yourself to, to say, you know what, I need to be a candidate because i got to run for this? Well, the, the, the problem was that we, our, our current council representative, uh, wasn't there representing us. Uh, uh, he definitely was not representing District D let alone the city. Uh, I'm not sure why he was there, but nevertheless, that's, that's really not why I'm here or, or even why he got involved. I got involved because the city of Hanford, our current council, uh, uh, needs to take the time to reach out to the community. One of the issues I have really is what's going on, all the changes, such as they're going to tear down our iconic water tanks. Those are coming down. The uh, they, our decor fire station, uh, they want to sell uh, excess acreage of uh, Hidden Valley Park. This is all our community. They need to reach out and ask us, what do you want, as opposed to just saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, we're going to do whatever. It's time to reach out to us. We are part of that community so that we can have input and give them direction. After all, they do serve us. They don't serve, they're not, they're not there to do their bidding, they're there to do our bidding, which is the community. They're representing us. Now when they start doing things on their own, it's because they don't care about our community, us. And we, they need to reach out to us and ask us what we want our community to do. So in a sense, uh, if I'm kind of following what you're saying is, uh, the, the citizens have felt neglected. They have, definitely have. I mean, uh, I live two blocks away from these water tanks. And yet, they're going to come down because people weren't uh, informed well in advance before the city made the decision to sell the property and to tear down those tanks. Now, why do you think that problem is there, though, where the citizens are, are, are feeling neglected? Because the council meetings take place every week, right? So do you think the voices are not being heard at the council well, meetings? Well, you know, I, I really don't want to put blame on any one, one reason, but I believe what's important is that the council, all five members of the council, reach out to their community, all their constituents, and get some input, get some input. Because right now, the way we have it, I believe we have too many people who do not reside in Hanford who are making these decisions that are going to have an impact on our future as a community. And we need to include the community itself in making those decisions. So right now, when you're talking to our listeners and viewers, uh, what are some of the things that you would like them to know uh, about Mr. Lou Martinez? Well, one thing is, I'm not in it for myself. I want to be there to give them an opportunity to come to me, or I'll reach out to them. What do you want me to do? How do you want me to convey your ideas? What do you want to happen in our town? That's why I'm doing it. Not for myself, and see what we can do to improve our downtown, 
because we need to restore the vibrant community that we used to have. I grew up right here in downtown. I lived two blocks away. As a young man, I ran around downtown selling newspapers. So <laughs> I'm very familiar with Hanford downtown. And we need to bring it back to what it used to be. And not only just the downtown, but also our entire community. We need to figure out how to include people, the community, in making decisions that are going to impact us, all of us, and how do we, we can improve the quality of life, whether it be recreation, whether it be our police department, whether it be our fire departments, whether it be any aspect of the community. So um, one thing I do want to ask you, because as you mentioned, you were in, the, in politics in the past. You yes, have sir. been a part of the uh, council. Um, what do you think has been the biggest change, so like from the times back then until today, uh, that you feel uh, some of the things have been um, maybe a little different for our citizens to be uh, more um, uh, involved with city politics? Like, do you think there's been a big change from when you were last in office as to now? Well, I, I believe that uh, the powers to be don't really feel they need the the people in the community to, to input because they have the they have the impression that they know what's best for us. But it's our town. Let us have some input. Let us make decisions for, that we can convey to you so that you can make the decisions that will impact all of us as a community. No, I think I think that's great, and I think that's a, it. Should always uh, be an open book for it should uh, all to be involved. Be, always be because this way we can move forward. And I don't have all the answers, and I guarantee you, everyone at City Hall doesn't have all the answers. But together as a community, we can come up with answers and solutions to everything that we can do to improve our quality of life here. So, are you excited as uh, being a former uh, politician? Are you excited that there are other candidates? Uh well, wanting I'm, to be a part of this? I'm very excited because I, this way it brought out people who are interested in the, in the community, who are interested in giving the community a voice, and I believe the four candidates that are running for this position, any of them is a better option than what we have, and I believe even after whoever wins, we'll work together and make things better for all of us. So before we go, Mr. Martinez, go ahead and tell our listeners and viewers one more time, uh, this is your platform, you have the microphone, let them know uh, why it's important for them to go out there and vote tomorrow. I think it's important so that the community themselves can have a voice in our own destiny and direction of how this town is going to go, how we can work together as a community and make things better for all of us. Mr. Lou Martinez, thank you so much for your time. I thank really you. appreciate it. Thank Once you. again, folks, uh, this uh, election is taking place tomorrow, yes. and you can vote at two locations. Two, two uh, yeah, po Precincts, and, yes. and I believe there are two churches, right? Correct, yes. Okay, all right. So there it is, folks. Make sure to go out there and vote. That's the important thing. Yes. Go out there and vote. Yes. Make your voices Make your heard, voice, right? Voice be heard. There Absolutely. it is. Mr. Lou Martinez, thank you for taking the time to be with me today. Thank you. Eggs, bacon, and Joey, folks, stay with us. Don't go anywhere.